and I'm going to work with you know, everybody out there. But um, Bronson stood up and he ran for office this year and he's become involved. A few years ago, I'll let, you t I'll let him tell the story, but a few years ago, he would have been voting the wrong way. But <laughs> that's all I'll say. Bronson, for all that you've done since we've known in just a few short years, you are the Defender of Truth for 2014. Thank you. I have to be careful in time because you know politicians can talk a long time. Um, growing up, I learned quite a few things. I learned how to work hard. I learned the importance of doing well in school and getting a good ed education so you can get a good job. But one thing I didn't learn, one thing that wasn't part of growing up were biblical values. So I didn't carry that into adulthood. So I would say at, at that time I thought I was a pretty good adult. I was nice to people. And I took the attitude as long as what I was doing and what you were doing, it didn't hurt or bother anybody, then it was fine. There, there was... There was no set of truth that, that, that guided, you know, my life. And if you look at early in, in my adulthood, as, as I was voting, you would have seen that. In 2008, I voted for Barack Obama. I also, I also in 2008, voted against our marriage amendment. I didn't think that marriage should be defined as one man and one woman. In 2010, if you're from Florida, you'll know um, what this means. I voted for Alex Singh for our governor. Uh -oh. So I was making choices based on my own set of truth. And in 2011, uh, a couple things happened. The first and most important thing was I came to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Praise God. And I... I started reading the Bible, and just reading the words of the Bible started to, to change my heart, where I did know that there was something else out there. I didn't know quite what it was, but I knew there was something else out there, and I gave my life to Jesus. Shortly after that, about October of 2011, I did my first Truth Project, and my eyes were open. The Truth Project, the, the very truth of God, changed my life, and it put me on a totally different path. When you fast forward in, in 2013, I met Regina, and I started getting involved politically. Went to my first uh, conference, of um, uh, Faith and Freedom Road to Majority Conference. And it was then, last year, where I finally decided that God was leading me to, to go after some type of platform where I could reach more people, and I could share with them the strong biblical values that once made our nation great that we're off track of and that we needed to get back on. And so I went and ran for Lago City Commission, and I didn't do as well as I hoped I would do. Um, but I still came I still came across, and, and that's right, and that's what I had good people behind me. My wife has supported me all the way. My children were there totally, and Regina has always had my back. And I still feel that that's the direction that God's pushing me, and we're going to continue just to, to, to preach God's word, to to tell everyone biblical truth and, and try to make a difference by just you know teaching everyone and showing everyone. Yeah, isn't that something? And you know what? If we had the time, we could just pass the microphone around and hear the stories of, of everybody's lives. What has changed? since you have the Word of God in you. And since you learn, especially in the Truth Project, since you learn how to apply that Word in the issues our culture is dealing with today.